Well, I just thought I'd have a bit of a laugh and try something on Change Some World because we've got now another couple of groups that join up together. Wait, just a, when I looked at the Fire Circle, bits of track is available, but we, we, can't, we can't drive anywhere near as far as that. Is that what? What's going on? Anyway, so we'll try, we're going to try this. So we're going to do something a little bit different. So what we're going to do, we're going to do basically Glasgow to Edinburgh and then from Edinburgh Waverley across the Fourth Rail Bridge across to Glen Glen Lotus. So we just basically go up the other side of the Pine Circle for something different. We're starting Glasgow then change obviously the route to the Pi Circle from Edinburgh to Glasgow. That's obviously that's the way you're doing it. Pick a route. Right. I mean the Cathcart Circle isn't actually very far away. The thing is there isn't they don't have the little link between Central and Queen Street. They're not far from each other, but they don't have the little link. Maybe take a wee taxi from the Glasgow Central to Queen Street. It's not very far away from each other. Right, so Edinburgh to Glasgow route. I'll pick a service. I haven't actually looked at the time, so I just have to try and say, right, we'll pick a service that sort of links close to each other. These are the trains available in this one. So I'm just going to take the 385. We will take a four car. Take the four car. We want to leave Edinburgh, uh, leave Glasgow to Waverley. Not too early in the morning, you know. Let's avoid let's let's avoid rush hour. Let's at least do that. There you go, we've got one, this one here, we've got, so it's, it takes 52 minutes from Queen Street to Waverley, is it 9.44, so that means we're going to get into Waverley about 25 to, 20, say 20 to, 20 to 11, so we'll need to find one, a time roughly about 20 to 11, and we'll go up to Glen Rothes, so we don't hang around too much, unless we'll, we'll go shopping in Princess Street. And we'll leave dynamic weather on and what we'll do whatever the weather is when I get there after doing this uh, scenario whatever the end of it, that is we'll start that weather with that weather at that point so if it's raining if it's sunny we'll try and set the weather so it's basically approximately the same and see what we'll come up with when we come out the other end Glen Rothes. The other option, my, my thought is when to get is got a free room on Glen Rothes, run really past the Markinch, and then come back down the other way to just see if there's a service and take over it at Markinch and go down to Waverley again. So, see if there's any update on the Waverley train station. That's, that was my thought. I wonder if they've updated this one. I don't think so, but I, th I think they should. They've opened up a wee bit more on the Fife Circle one. So let's get going. And hopefully they make Waverley a bit more busier than it is, because it is one of the busiest train stations in the country. Right, so let's see if we remember how to do this. We need this. this we need that. 
This has got an all-in-one all job as well, so that's... Yeah. Windy wipers raising me lights. Don't move the door. I'll find my lights again, Dave. Where's my lights in this one? On the other side. On the other side, Dave. That's the ones. Oh, that's the ones for me. Oh, the doors are on the other side. Then I'll close them. Return on. I'm not worried too much about doing an announcements right. So we got a four car going into Edinburgh Waverley. I'm going to be we running already a little late. I'm not worried too much about that. And let's get the reverser. We need to get the reverser in position. That's the one we need it forward, Dave. That's the way we do want to go forward, don't want to go backwards. Where's the AWS selection on this one again? There's somewhere around here, isn't it? I find the. Uh, I'm using. I think it's that one. Oh. to turn on the AWS. That's the doors. See it's on. So. We don't do driver but right. we'll get it going in and we'll, we'll find the switch for it somewhere. We'll remind ourselves where it is, right? right first stop is Croy. So leaving Queen Street, we're going to, as I say, end up in Waverley. We'll have a wander around Waverley, see if there's any updates on this one for the Waverley. Train station, see if they've put in the Waverley steps, which they did do on the other one, the five circle. The, the, the Waverley steps in, which is a good thing. How else are you meant to go up to Princess Street without going on to Waverley Bridge? Not too bad for time, but reasonable bit of time to get to to Waverley. I'm just trying to get there as quickly as I can. And the first quest is Croy. Yeah, I was trying to find a safety system on it. Like, Where is it? I don't know. I can't remember. I thought that was it. No, 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 it wasn't. Didn't seem to do anything. No, it didn't. Somebody will show me. Somebody, somebody in chat, when they appear, will tell me. They'll keep me right. Somebody who's a... To me, I'll be honest, I'm just a casual... Dry... Player of this game. Very casual. Quite chilled. Relaxed. These are my two look sort of closest uh, lines for me, so from, from 
Pine School to Edinburgh or Edinburgh to Pine School. But this this way this will so include the five circle. <coughs> Does it kind of join up? So let we'll see out the cab. Yeah, I thought that was AWS, but yeah, mm, too fast. Go down. I suppose we did need a wee catch catch me up moment. We were re late in leaving. Just let it, let it coast. It'll, it'll reduce the pointage. It's not the point of this uh, endeavour, is it? No, 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 not at all. The endeavour is to reach uh, Edinburgh and then do the five circle. So hopefully they lay a lot more trains on these uh, routes. I mean you could layer the DMU along here as well, even though yes it doesn't officially go along here, you could layer it in. Somebody watching, having a good laugh at Dave's rubbish commentary. We're heading to cry. So, so you can play with it, the thing we can put the obviously sound stuff on and that on it. Don't need the windy wipers, we're alright. Sunny leaving Glasgow. Just left on custom uh, on dynamic weather. So be interesting, see what happens when we get into Edinburgh. So as I say, when we get into Edinburgh, that's the weather I want to choose when I get to the other end. So I'm gonna go up the up to get Glen Rothis rather than Mark Inch. Yesterday we went from Mark Inch down into Edinburgh, so we might as well do kind of opposite way. It would be nice if we, if we could kind of join the two routes together properly. In one. On the other game, We'll get up to a station up here and Monolithical roughly about here. Because that's 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 the tram route there. That, that one's the tram. And that's that's the route there, that's the five circle. So that's that roughly where we're going to be. And all the way into there. Come out along here, this way, north. I see they've got this section here, it does join up to the Pfizer. On the game, on the other route. Three and a half minutes, can we do it? I'm going to, we're going to be late. To be honest, time I'm not well, but it's just a one of doing the, the two routes together. Yeah, I couldn't could find the button for the AWS. So that's why it's not activated. So I did find it. Doesn't seem to activate it. It's good when the EWS is running. Pretty much chilled out, relaxed, but train some world. And then possibly later on I'm gonna do some more all the tanking. So if I do some more all the tanking it'll help me guarantee boost my my season pass already, so 
done I've done uh, a, day, a day some daily challenges in it yesterday so or earlier this morning just to make sure just to make sure right, so we're doing all right for time no, not too shabby a wee bit leave it behind I would say but I'm doing okay but I don't think we have to worry about time It's not the aim of the game, it's the aim is to see what the weather is at the end of this when we pull into Edinburgh. Pull into Edinburgh and then we'll find out if it's sunny, raining, I don't know, it could be anything. 98, so that's going to have a fair uh, sort of lickety splittity speed here. Doing quite well. Just come up to Croy. So we've got about a minute to get to Croy. Um, we're not going to be too far off. Yeah, we're joining both the Edinburgh, the uh, Glasgow, Edinburgh Glasgow line, and the Five Circle together. Obviously, have to come out of one to go into the next uh, route, but. That's how it works. That's how it works, Steve. Is it? Yeah. You can't just teleport in game. Right, let's go right in. I think we're going to overshoot this. We haven't played this for a long, 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 long time. 60 mile an hour going through here. Yeah, but we've overshot it. I think. I'm going to restart this one. Let's go, let's try this again, David. Right, you try this again. You always make them poor, but don't you? Yeah. It'd be nice if they added, layered in some stuff. Right, but now we know what side the door's on as well. Turn that on. And the grass the lights on. Let's see if we can get the EWS. I can't remember what we had to do to turn it on. To turn something else on, make it work. Can't remember. That could be. Hey, that's us. That's us. That's what we needed to just turn that on. We just needed to turn that on, right? Cool. We're leaving a wee bit. More on time this time, this time this not, it's not, uh, find ourselves late. Cool, right, we have to make a fool of ourselves. We have a four car going to Edinburgh this time, this, hopefully this time we don't overshoot, cry and flying past. See, there's a lot to see in Tor to Croy, but there we go. We're pulling out Queen Street, heading to Edinburgh, Wa Waverley. This time we'll just try not to make idiot of ourselves and I knew there was a way to turn the AWS on this. I couldn't remember. That's why I need somebody more professional than myself to do it. Right? So we'll have to stay in the camp. Not a lot to see. Not a lot to see in the camp. 
we just kind of just coast up to, to get to the right speed. Plenty of time. The quest here is Dave just trying not to go overshoot the, the point where you're meant to stop. That's a clever plan. Ah. Get used to this, this, your speed and distance to said station. What? No, what? I have to slow down, do I? Yes, yes, yes. I have to do that, I have to slow down and it stops. Okay, dokie. Right, so we'll get it again. Just left Queen Street for a second time. Shoosh. Didn't see that for error in the first. I just thought, I went mean, shooting past Croy, saw it, start again. If only you could do that in real life. It was a warm up. A warm up. in time a lot more more likely now I'm probably remembering to, to slow the train down a bit sooner rather than going too fast problem inside the car we don't see a lot today Quite a nice train. Yeah, hopefully they'll layer more stuff on uh, the line for the five circles. And they layer more on this one, they've got the zoom on it. Coming out of Edinburgh now, do they have that? That would be good. And they extended the, the the amount of Waverley you can run along. Because there's quite a lot of Waverley you can run, run along to, you know, if you end down as if you're going to go down the East Coast line towards London. You can do that section. So you can get to the, the stairs now, lead to Colton. Road. You can get to there now on the five circle. So just past the one hundred. We'll let it rip a little. I think this time we've got a lot more time. We've got a lot more time. Now. So when I get to cr towards Croy, I'm not going to be panicking. Going, am I going to? Am I on time? Am I on time? Nope, not on time. So you do this, and then we'll give what we've done before. And try not to. This time we'll try and stop in the station. Up in the station. So we're doing the Edinburgh to Glasgow bit, or Glasgow to Edinburgh, I'm going too fast. We nudge there. And so we're doing the Glasgow to Edinburgh and then we're going to do five circle. Which is probably the bit everybody wants to see because that's the new bit. be honest, the fourth rail bridge, ah, isn't it big and red, big and red, yes it is, I had, I think I was watching the uh, rail Dan, it was one of them that said it's iron structure, no 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 no, not iron, steel, no, that's why it's lasted longer, partly probably. You need 
needed the strength and flexibility. I iron's a bit brittle. Basically a rot iron. It snaps easy. Go ding. That's the thing is that's that's basically all how steel came around though, obviously. People just played around with it. It's melting iron and realise that if you add this and that to it, it turns into steel. It still rusts, but a bit more flexible and a bit more stronger. Less likely to go snap. Definitely steel for that one, right? So, Dave, remember to stop this time. Okay, three minutes this time only. So, we're actually we're better off in time at least. We're better off. Keep, keep a bit of speed going. Oh, that's not too soon. Still got a wee bit to go. So, we're heading to Edinburgh. So, as I say, we'll probably get in, into Edinburgh about 20 to 11. So, we're going to find one that goes off to Glen Rothis and my my thought is I might actually go free roam and see if we can run right round to my to Mark Inch. It'll take a little bit, but run to, run to Mark Inch. Wait for a service to go down to Waverley. Do that. Finish the stream and that would be a bit of a trek, you know. But You get both sides of the circle, you get, and you get the Edinburgh to Glasgow thrown, thrown in for, for good measure. It's a pity they don't, they don't do the, the full circle, they don't actually go circle, circle all the way around in a big one circle. I don't, don't think in this game, I don't know if they've done it in real life. Like now, they, they, they are joined up though. They are, the, the two sections are actually joined up. You just have to. This time, let's start slowing her down. Slow her down well before we get there this time. bit better off. We got a reasonable break season, it just I, I was like going oh bugger there's the there's a train station and that. Yeah, let's give the passengers a wee warning that the train's coming in. It's more the sort of view you would get if you're the driver. Short, but hey ho, it's better, better than it was before instead of flying past. So, this is Croy. I've not done it, I've not played around, I'm not playing with the announcements. I could play around with the announcements and say this, so it tells me the where I'm going to. So, I don't have to think about it. This service is for for form for for coaches. No, no, those players quattro. See, yeah, four. I see them on time. I can have a be we chill out for a. This is this sees me pressing the the calling at Falkirk High, Pullman, and Lithgow. A market in Edinburgh.
That's the, that's the station I'm running. That's, that's the next one's Falkirk then. <laughs> we can close it, we'll close the doors. At least the base we've got a little bit yet. We'll get you going in a minute. It tells me he's a more on time this time. Rather than late as Falkirk's next next stop for me. Getting foggy. When it fall cut the first the force of sort of round the way up here. Oh. Yeah, Force River isn't actually rock long itself. Because I think it essentially it starts being a river when it turns into the first the force of the by it starts being very long. It just gets rather long and a lot of water. Right, so I was actually watching uh, Mr. Merton, Paul Merton. He was going on. He's got a series about going down Scotland's rivers. There's basically Scotland stuff. And he was telling us the first, the fourth, the fourth is nothing to do with the number. Apparently, it means uh, slow moving, something like that. That's why he got his name, so it wasn't like what well, happened to the fifth, the sixth, and the seventh. As well, uh, yeah, all a bit foggy, getting a bit foggy, heading towards Falkirk. Good to two. Just need to try and keep the speed going rather than anything else, I'm not. Doesn't have to go overly much faster. Plenty of time. Yeah, plenty of time now, six and a half minutes or so, six minutes. Ninety-five should help eat up the miles. So I'll see what this was layered into it, uh, the vice circle. But it was only layered to the to, uh, haymarket. I thought it was going to be as far as one let's go because of the map. I'll show you the map when we get there. I'm not showing you the map. As I say, whatever weather it is in Edinburgh when I get in, we'll, we'll try and recreate it for leaving uh, to do the Fice Circle. Sounds like a plan, doesn't it? You should think it. I've, I've thought this one through, you know. I didn't think it very through when I, I went miles past my train station. Right up the motorway. Uh, yeah. the, the, the Glasgow motorway going up to. Towards Stirling, I reckon. I won't be the Edinburgh side. Not past Falkirk. So, because uh, the other motorways on the other side. <laughs> oh, Falkirk. The M9. Plenty of time to be honest. Try, try to maintain your speed, David. 
Rey Sol. Cab lighting. But uh, there must there'll be a button for it somewhere. I won't I know we won't reply it. It's in the cab. I've missed an EWS, I think. So I've slowed down. It's okay. All is well. It has been recovered. For the sand. Where's the cab lights? The interior lights is what we Interior lights on there. Oh, they'll be on the they be on the control panel, Dave. Ah, the little screen. That's what it'll be. Yes. You want to turn the lights on and be on the control panel. Ah, remember, Dave. You've got a little little control panel thing there. You have to do the thing. on all the brakes on well we made it we kind of made it right we're on we're on the platform we're on the platform that's much everybody's cups of tea but that's that's what it is, I was looking for the Fiddly. Right. The lights on there, we go. Full minute, here we come. The lights on, it was getting a bit misty. It seems to brighten up a bit since I put the lights on. Put the lights on and the fog goes away. It's less foggy. <laughs> right. Pullman, and it stop.
see this is You got a mess of keyboards so much, so much easier, so fiddly. Press the buttons. We do have a red light, so we've got to watch ourselves, Dave. It's gone yellow, it's gone yellow. It means we can just click on it each time we come to a station and just look like it. Slowly bring her down this time instead of slamming on the brakes and making everybody go through the window. So I need to pull them up. I'm sure that way thing bends off the head towards Sterling. Breaking. That would probably be too much otherwise, wouldn't it? It's better than the last time, it wasn't the the, the panic and the absolutely fearing on the the brakes. Yes, it's been a while since I drove this one. Hey, dude. Hi Zoe. Hey dude. How you doing? So we're, we're, we're doing the Glasgow to Edinburgh and then from Edinburgh Waverley we're going to do uh, some, some of the five circle. Hey again from your last stream. Yep, I recognise the name. Zoe Uwe. Yeah, I recognise you from the last time. Yeah, so we're I was kind of joining two of the, the routes together because we have the sheer same train stations. So we're gonna have come from Edinburgh uh, from Glasgow Queen Street. We're heading to now to Linlithgow. This is about I thought it was on the map. On this, on the game, uh, you, on the face of calling out smiling face with smiling eyes. Oh, it's always good to call out. See, see when people say hello, you say hello back. That's all. That's all you have to do. Simple, isn't it? I like when people come in. It makes it more fun. It's fun for me. More fun for people watching. So how long have we got to get to? Nice 
Oh, well, well, that was better than the last last station. The last station it was like all oh, anchors away, you know, everything out the window. <laughs> Fight, fling, quick stop. Right. Four minutes or so to get to Linlithgow. Don't think we need to go stupidly fast. We just need to keep roughly what we're doing. Do what we're doing. We'll get there. What is this game? Uh, TSW Train Sim World 4. So it's Train Sim World 4. And this is on the PlayStation 5. It's on most consoles and PC. I think if you, yeah, I think if you're actually playing a best run uh, through the PC, use it. It is, it is a nice looking game. It always has bugs in it, but it's, the way it is, it's get, things get rushed out and there's always bugs, and they forget to sort the bugs. But mainly because it's, we won't get the new DLC out. That's the th that's the problem. Then. It's a fun fun little game for just chilling out, relaxing. So as I say, I'm going to do Glasgow to Edinburgh, and then I think you had sub dealer uh, yesterday, Zoe. So you be oh, mm. press the button, Dave. Press the button. Yeah, I think I seen a sub yes just the FP or so I'm guessing it was yourself. I get people I get the old time, I don't know if it's because of YouTube or well, sometimes they unsub people because they haven't watched you for a while or whatever. They just automatically do it. It's not an end of the world situation if you because all these yellow lights makes me think I'm not far behind another train somewhere. You gonna stream again tomorrow? Yeah, you, I'm day off for the next few days, so I'll, uh, I'll probably be on tomorrow. I'll probably do. I'm gonna do this, and I'm thinking of doing some more of the tanks. Either that, or go to do Grand Turismo. Because Gran Turismo got an absolute cracking race on the moment. I do like train somewhere for just chilling out and relaxing. I know a lot of people do come in to my uh, channel okay, to sorry, watch this. Tomorrow I have to go. Okay. So you wait. Thanks for coming in. Thanks for hitting likes and subs and everything else. Very, very much appreciated. You're not very far from the platform, Dave. Brakes on. Still going faster than you think you are. I get this to stop. I will see you tomorrow. I'll see you tomorrow as well. So you wait. I get this stopped. So it's sunny in Lindlith. Go. We can see the palace from here, though. I don't, th I don't, don't think they put that in. People rush in and out quite quickly. Very famous is only with the palace. I think it's more of that di general direction. Planters in there, the planters and a lot of them. More planters than the other one, other game. There's collectibles. This one has little haggises to to find and stuff like that. Haggai. That's alright. We're gonna get it going in a minute. Let's shut the doors. We can get it going. So as I say, whatever weather it is in Edinburgh, is what I'm going to try and set it to leave uh, for the five circle. 
So we're going to Glasgow to Edinburgh and then up to Glenrothes. We might do a free, free, free roam from there to Mark Inch if we're up the railway. Make sure there's nothing wrong with the track. Make sure there hasn't got any cracks in it. Go back down from Mark Inch. A bit of fun. So, A markets are next stop. You didn't eat making the nest there, did you? I don't know if it changes if you don't press a button. See, we just vary it. Please take extra care when getting uh, uh, just the same one. Just the same one. Just see if we're doing a different one without pressing the button. The other one has automatic uh, announcements. You don't have to piddle, piddle around with the screen. I was trying to remember where the saloon light lighting was on this one, but oh why, it's on the screen. I'm going to look, look for a switch up here and up over here, no, no, I have been screen there, the saloon for you. How long have we got to get to, I do length of time to get to the Haymarket. 12 and a half minutes, plenty of time. Obviously, this uh, 13 miles is in a straight line from where we are. So we actually got a lot, a lot longer to go. It'd be good if you do that extended bit, crossing it down many and down there, that's, that's where it goes. That's, that's, you'll, you'll see it on the next map. I'll show it. Some more people watching, thanks for all coming in, guys. So, we're doing the Glasgow to Edinburgh first, and then we're going to head up to Glen Rothes from Edinburgh Waverley. I'm actually going to, as I said, I'm going to have a look around Edinburgh Waverley. I want to see if they've updated the, the station in this one, they've updated a wee bit on the Fife Circle because they've opened up a bit more of the station. They put in the Waverley steps to Princess Street. Can't do it in this game, but I bet he's both the drivers are giving each other the wee thumbs up, sort of wave to each other. I wave to you. It's a good game that is good for just chilling out with. Yeah, so our speed limit's gonna be ninety, so we're doing alright, but we just need to try and keep to the speed limits, basically. It's always a good idea. It's only thirty if we go that way. We're not going that way. That's that's the wee bit I was talking about. It joins up with the Five Circle. You you see it actually on the Five Circle. I'll show you when we get in in the game on the Five Circle because they draw it almost up to towards Linlithgow where I've left, and I don't know if we're going to layer it up to to there or not. Because when you jump in these uh, the eight fives and the old the other game, the other route, you only go as far as A market. It's like the it's, it's rider train for about three seconds to A market from Edinburgh. Doing 
Plantit Plantit time to hear Mark it Especially once it straightens off a bit So this bit here is one of the bind ups here is where we go we go work under times from work. This is me usually going home from work, but underneath this line. So that's why we've got the 18 mile on our Because we go out that way towards Broxburn. Any of these cars there are they do like a silver four focus, I don't know. Across the vine up here. We go across the vine up here. And stuff over there. Quite often there's a wee uh, van checking the, the railway out. For this studio, right, for this studio, we're he heading towards a market. Yeah, a lot more of a straight line now. We're gonna get should see the M8 motorway shortly. Hi, Hansen Quasing. Hi, Drifter. So we're doing Glasgow to Edinburgh and then change the DLC essentially to the high circle. And that's how I'm kind of doing the Glasgow to Ed to high circle going with this essentially. The pity they don't sort of just automatically join together and you can just do that and go you don't have to worry about trying to load up the other DLCs. You have to do that. You never try to drive a steam train yet in the train sim world four. Yes I have, yeah, yeah. Um many a time from the steam train. Many a time. Um, this one's got the Flying Scotsman. It was a hundred years of Flying Scotsman. It's my Flying Scotsman. So there's the M8 motorway. Yeah. A hundred years of. I don't want to be going too fast because. I'm getting yellow lights. I've got a red light as well. Slow it down because I'm obviously getting too close to another train. Yeah, that's my assumption. There's an another train ahead. It's not too far ahead of me. Because I have, have what, five minutes to get to Haymarket, so I'm actually going to. I don't need to be travelling too fast. Well, not just one, just to kind of keep the, the train moving, essentially. Yeah, I suspect there's a train up near Muddyfield or Hay Haymarket. And they're there. I'm not far behind it. There's a tram line. You get the trams 
working in this game and the, this DLC and you do get it in the other DLC too. The Fire Circle. And the Fire Circle actually has the deck, shows you the deck. Somebody was, I think it was because it, I don't know if it's just because it was there on the build. Double check. It's just, if it is the same on this, on this build, the, the overhead anti-graphs catenary is uh, available to the depot. If they were like, what? Where's, where's the overhead wires? Where's the overhead wires? There's none at the, the depot. So we're coming up to the bit where we actually should be joining up with the fire circle. Here we go. We're just coming up to there. So we'll be coming back out in this general direction. We're coming along all that way. Along that section there. That's where we'll be going. I'm going to let the trying to electrify these posts as much as possible. Going up to, towards Aberdeen, it's, it's, I think there is obstacles in the way to uh, essentially, effectively put the all these uh, overhead wires and that. Yeah, that's 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 the tram. There's going to be a tram. I'm just kind of that's partly why I like sitting outside on this. Day. There's a tram going by. I'm not drawing in any building buses, there's more buses than the tram. Someone's going on the morning field, parking, going on, paying something. Scotland won again. It was more like to win a, a rugby match than a football match these days. Scotland's not been too bad with the football actually recently. It's not been too bad, but it's like there's something yeah, So this is the rugby stadium, Murray Field. Wait to see it again and Haymarket Yards should be a bit more populated than it is. We pull the trains of Different, different ones. There you go. I'm going to have to slow it down because we've got a red light, Dave. We've got a red light. We've caught up with whatever trains ahead of us. Oh, I'm going to release that. Wrong way, Dave. Wrong way. We've caught up with a train ahead of us. See the yards here are very barren too. I mean that's usually full of trains and for repairs and stuff. So it should be full of trains getting repaired. One of the post office distribution bits as well as there. So that's not a surprise. So obviously, any mails coming in by train, it will be deposited there. So, well, I've got a comment in saying that it's wrong now. There's only one crane there now. So we'll have a, I'm going to have a, I say, when I get to Waverley, I want to have a wee look to see if it, they've updated it. Cool, happy days. That's not too bad. Haymarket's train station. We'll come back to here again. Yes, we could stop here and run across there and get the, the train, but I wonder if they've layered the, that other train in the five circle yet for this one. We'll find it when we get to Avril if we see it in the 
within the train station or not. There's sort of little things you need to do, yeah, because people think you can use there in the zoom. I've seen it on the Five Circle one. It's in the layered in the zoom up on the five circle, but it's not very often you see it. The ones in the blue moon, but it should be loads of them. It should be blue ones as well. Yeah, I'm not fiddled around with this because of. Trying to fiddle around with that, and then you go. This is Haymarket. Slow down. Yeah, turn it away on that. See, when there's no jiggling about, it, like it's not. We'll soon arrive at Edinburgh Waverley. See, we can do that because the, <laughs> the train is near bounced about the place. This is a bit, a wee bit misty. A wee bit cloudy out there. That's so we'll try and re recreate the, the sort of same look when we get on the fire circle. We'll try and re re recreate the same uh, weather. It's a, bit a reasonable bit, bit of cloud out there. The end of the castle. Now darker because it was maybe damper looking. Rather than bright sunshine and the stone looks a bit too light. Yeah, underneath the galleries, and we'll just got to pull into the stop of platform we're going into. We've gone this, through this tunnel. Different. Can't remember going through this tunnel. Is it one, as I say, have they layered in the, the newer trains? That's what the. You mean it doesn't want to come out? Just want to see if we can get there. Can't see them. As I say, both this one and the. the this is the general complaints from a lot of the guys that obviously had to train properly. They feel Edinburgh is very sparse. And for a major train station, sparse of trains. Just. And we'll. As able finish this and we do a free, a free roam. I'm going to have a quick free roam. I just want to see if they've done anything to the train station on this uh, route and then we'll go and do a five circle. So there we go. Ride to Edinburgh 1036. We just have to find one. It goes a reasonable time but maybe we've had a, we've had a chance of a cup of tea or a coffee. A wee sandwich. You need to timetable for spawn a diesel train with a passenger train. Well, I need to. I'll need. I'll just need to go in uh, the next DLC and then pick a, the time it's going to go. Leaving roughly that time. And set the the weather. So I'm going to go in free room. 
it's going to. So I don't know if they've layered in the, le the, the diesel ones. But I can go further down Waverley than I used to. On this set, on this route, because we didn't go, used to go to the far end. That's as far as we can go. On this route. Right, so that's that's where. Because on the other route, we can go down there. I'll show you. I'll show you. I just wanted to see if they've done anything to this at all. I don't think so. I don't, don't think it's changed anything. And um, because on the new one, the one thing they have added is the Waverly Steps going up towards Princess Street. Yeah, you got this bit here. Should be Waverly Steps going up to Princess Street or whatever about there. And, and it is on the other one. Don't think they've got working escalators. No, the escalators don't work on these ones. You have to run down them. But they do have one on the other one. Right, so okay. I just, I just want that's that's why I want to do a quick run around. I want to run around just to see what's what. So if you go to the top, there's actually not a lot else different. They have added one. If what I'll do is I'll, I'll go to a free room and I'll, I'll find one that's going to be playing with this or something. And jump in it. Hijack it. But basically just... These these have not changed. This bit out here is weather fork. Alright, it's weather spoons, but that's what it is. So you don't have a haggis here on this one, you have a seal hiding down there and you wait till one o'clock and watch the gun go bang. Right, so 10.39, so we'll need to try and find a, a service to Grain Lotus on the next DLC, roughly that sort of time. And it's a bit cloudy, so that's what we need to try and set the weather to. Because it's live, it's what you have to be patient with me. So we've got the face circle, we'll get the diesel more local. I think it's only one that's available real currently on uh, the face circle at the moment. I don't want to click on that because I don't know what one it's going to give me. It's the best way, uh, it's my last blade. At least the pictures have all loaded up properly. What did oh, there's a face circle one? There we go. Timetable. Don't want that because I'll, I'll show you. I'll just show you, right? They they all go just to to Haymarket. Don't go very far. Right. Even though. On the map, it shows you a lot more. Um, so we're on the 170. We want to go to a Glen office, but we want a more, most appropriate time. the Dundee or Perth see that, that that's the same that's what they said is the issue with that one they don't go up the wee line going up the other way it goes the wrong way that's going to Edinburgh that's leaving Edinburgh. Um, so this one here, this is ideal. Let's change, we need to change the. We'll customize it.
There is metro train in the California to use that. Right. See, maybe you change the. You should be able to do it individually. No. I'll have to just go like. You should be able to change the. Obviously, the, the levels. Volt can't seem to be able to do that yet. In this one. You know, so you can. We don't have to put a light clouds out. It's certainly not a lightning storm. It's not misty. And not raining. So it'll be light clouds, David. Light clouds. That's the one for you. Right. Right, so we're now going to jump on this service here. It's raining here and right now at the moment, actually, in real life. Rather damp. Right, so. The announcement's automatic on this one. Yeah, yeah, that's cool. Uh, headlights. Edinburgh Gateway. Train lights. North Queensbury. Inverkeven. Headlights. Dearing. Dunfermline, Queen Margaret. Cowden Beach. Tail, tail lights off. I don't want them on. Cardendon. Glenrothes with Thornton. If you see something that doesn't look right, right so speak to staff. That's us there. We'll so we've got this wee little lady here, she's doing all the announcements for us. It's obviously brightened up a little bit since since we left. I, I couldn't change the cloud and it's not raining, that's the thing. It's cleared up. It's suddenly cleared up. I used to be able to say it. I haven't got it sorted for this one yet. You could change it, obviously, all the. individual bit, you can make it look. I didn't want light rain because it wasn't actually raining when I came in. Yeah, because it could have been started to rain by the time I left. It's not the point. So that way we lay. I'm going to head to Grand Lotus in a minute. I might as well shut the door. So this we. Hey, market first. That's our first quarter call. We, we, we are alongside it. That's what I was driving on the Edmund to Glasgow. See, there's more layers on this one actually in the. Edinburgh, Glasgow. You need to. You need to layer in so much more because they have the zoomers and that. But they got the lost long, long ones. It type of zoomers. Oh, came out the right section. Then you don't have to run very far to the next platform. In the castle, came out from underneath the galleries. Princess Street, Princess Street Gardens. 
Nie wiem, nie bywa czym, to jest Princess Sea Garden. Gross Pansland. I don't know if you can see the fountain. The fountain is gold. I don't know if they've put in the fountain. I'm not on preview cam, so it's hard to tell. Yeah, we have got the fountain there, you can just see it through the peaking through the trees. Gross fountain should be up there. So this is the five circle, so basically we are now heading along, just along from where we came from a minute ago. We're heading to Haymarket. We'll soon arrive at Haymarket. So the quest so is get get to, get to Haymarket and then uh, pull in and then this lady is going to announce all the stops for us so it's really handy so no know if we have to stop or not so keep me right at least it's less fiddly than the uh, the announcements on the other again this is a alt power and brake handle on one it should be I should really have gone a bit quicker than I have but I haven't already behind in schedule in the world situation isn't it let's come out come out here market I can show you on the map once we actually stop and let the passenger on off that what I was saying about the other other trains right there we go this is the route we're getting given on there it is Edinburgh Park that's the route we just came down okay for me, that's one Lithgow train station, but they won't let you drive as far as that. That's the, the connecting bit I was talking about. So, girl. That's it, it's the same, we got the guile here. No, rather. But that's the same, that's what I don't understand. You've got all this bit of track drawn on the on the game, but they don't have access to here. It would at least make it a bit more viable and understanding why they are then of that other one layered in I have it layered in to do Edinburgh to Haymarket when you can go to Edinburgh Park or you can go to Linlithgow as far as it, can, it seems to go on the map don't know, but ask me why that's that's my opinion why I put it in if, if you're not going to go as far as that We're going to go past the market. See this bit here, that's that's the tram stop. We've got a tram in the in the tram stop, the hay market. So they've got the trams on on the on the track we'll be able to see them. Just giving this a whole lot of flooring. As I say the hay market yards are usually full of different various trains. Not much maintenance gets done there. 
easy HSTs and stuff like that. Hopefully, the people going out about HSTs in this got real livery. Because I think a lot of people have done them already, but you just need to do either free roam or set up a scenario planner for yourself and throw it in there. This we slow down just because uh, of the point. Keep it at 75. When we get to, get to the 75, we can then. Uh, so I'm going up direction I didn't haven't gone yet on this one. I haven't gone this way on this one. I haven't gone up to Glen Lotus yet. That's where I'm heading for. I'm late, it's because I was late. I want to make sure we slow down, Dave. But, yeah, there's some more people coming. Thanks, thanks for coming in. So this is the bits everybody wants to see. They want to see the five circle. <laughs> they want to see. This is the new bit. Um, as I say, I've done Glasgow to Edinburgh DLC already. I mocked it up at the beginning. I made a bit of a pig's ear of it. Because I went flying through Croy and I went, oh, I saw that we'll start again. Instead of uh, uh, doing the reverse, beep, 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 beep. The reverse maneuver, that's a good maneuver, isn't it? And train. Right. Okay. I say it's time at times, I'm not going to concern myself overly too much. I did have yes yes to do this one and somebody was coming off a walkway, I think he was trying to commit suicide. So this is South Gale. Should be So that's lock the doors. We'll release it. Go to the gateway next, it's the next uh, protocol. So, the gateway is this, essentially it's a train station that was purposely built for connecting the trams with the, the trains. It's purposely built because so you got the tram depot. Bust up on the trams for Edinburgh Gateway. Go sit past South Gale. Station is the shopping centre. Right, 
Ah, done it again. Ah, bummer. It comes up and so flipping fast. Too busy looking at things going, ooh, look at that. Ah. Right, it, it's, it's a restart. We've got an objective failure. <laughs> This isn't going very well, is it? <laughs> oh dear. Let's well, start again. And. Oh, Dave. Dave, 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 Dave. You fool. You moron. Idiot. Buffoon. Various words I can use it. Caught myself. Oh. That was so flipping fun. That's that's when just you that. Cats do that. Well, well, go go flying through the. We'll go through, go flying through the, the train stations. <laughs> that was funny. Oh, nicely, eh? yeah. Yeah, we don't want to beep it. Now we wonder. So, that's a, this is the this train. Plenty of people on it. It's only fine. And we get in the bathroom. Is it, is it engaged on uh, somebody in there? Damn it! Right, let's, let's go. Let's get back in the cab. Someone's in the bathroom. I needed to be. Shut the door. Shut the door, Dave. Shut the door. Right. Oh, <laughs> that's twice. Twice, twice, twice. It's so flipping funny. I, I, I like it. I don't mind when they make mistakes. It's not the end of the world. you got you, two options. You laugh or you cry. I go with the laugh bit. Because it's bloody hilarious. It is absolutely hilarious when you muck it up. So we're back in Edinburgh after... Uh, well, we weren't quite out of Edinburgh, but we were just about out of Edinburgh at the gateway. We weren't at the gateway, we went through the gateway and went, whoops. So instead of missing it, we'll come back, try again. We'll try not to speed here. Good. We'll get, hopefully, the haymarket on time this time. Oh, David, that's hilarious. You fool you. More on. I'm glad people are still coming in and watching and they're probably peeing themselves going, what are you doing? You're not meant to do that. Yeah, I know. Right. Pass the castle again. I haven't tested to see if this has got a... Uh, the one I've got a gun in it as well. Maybe we have to test that. I think what, as I say, I'm going to try and do come bit, do free, free roam at Mark Inch and then run at uh, Glen Rothes and then run to Mark Inch and pick up a train from, from there to back down to Edinburgh. And it would just be good for a laugh. Because you can go quite quite a bit like the clappers. It doesn't take long. Right, okay David, concentrate, concentrate David. Stop going flying through the train stations, you're not meant to do that. 
You meant to stop it then, am I? Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. You've already said that to yourself, it's frowned upon, going through the train stations like that. People's cups of tea and cans of juice go flying everywhere. And I'm never impressed. Yeah, a bit miffed. Tend to get a bit miffed. Very close in the hay market. Don't slow down that that too soon, right? We're, start, we're starting again, Dave. Started right, we've had two mistakes in both of the routes now. We're gonna have to try and do it a bit better. I Dave, don't go through the, the Don't go flying through the train stations and forget to stop. Right. What a bully, eh? What a bully. Yeah, that yes, I think uh, and that ace yes on the platform is your, that, that's your stopping point. So you may pull it, it, it have all the infos on next to it's car stop, so that's where you stop. And it usually tells you I think it tells you if you're like a three or a four car or whatever. There's some of the stopping points. Depends on how many you've got on it. But yet if you're a proper train driver you know all these things. I'm a I'm an idiot who pretends to be a train driver. Right. I'm just pretending to drive trains. I'm not driving trains for real, thankfully. I think I think I'd be in trouble as we flying through. Granted, I wouldn't be watching. Uh, I wouldn't be streaming on, on the YouTube. Oh, look, I'm streaming it live on YouTube, driving from this to that. Oh, sorry, guys. This must stop. Right, so let's, let's carry on. As I say, the last time we saw there was a, a tram there. There was a tram waiting the lights there, the waste end of the market. I don't know, we'll see a tram didn't, didn't the last time. I can see it at the depot. That was my quest at the depot, I was thinking. At the depot, do have you got continuity for overhead continuity for the trams at the depot? Somebody said, when it was a, obviously, yes, it was an L access build. It wasn't kind of lacking. And it's like here at Haymarket Yard, both this Edinburgh and Glasgow. Market, there's a kind of distinct lack of a train sitting there. We'll use the water. Did we get fixed? Right, let's go. Let's try this again, David. Stop mucking it up. So, Scottish International Stadium. Edinburgh Stadium, Edinburgh and Glasgow Stadium. Yeah, it, it gets used as money field when it's in Edinburgh v Glasgow. The thing is, see Edinburgh and Glasgow, the only time they dislike each other is when they play each other. Because there's only two Scottish uh, professional uh, rugby teams, so we all support each other really, because that's the majority of the Scotland team. One half Edinburgh, we don't have Glasgow, smattering of others, other other places. Uh, yeah. This time, David. Do not go past the gateway. 
don't go, ooh, that south guy there. Uh, that was the thing, I was I was going, yeah, that's, that's, that's the guy off centre, isn't it? And then we went through, we went, oh, sugar, that's the gate. In the gateway, I wasn't looking at the distance to the main uh, station. Came upon me too quickly. It was a whoopsie. Oh, diddy diddy me, is all I can say. Let's do this again. Try. We'll so this will go through Rothscythe and Dunfermline. So th this is the side that probably won't get used as much. Probably the people streaming, most people will probably go for Mark Inch. And I think uh, British Ace Pete has done the full circle. I think it's probably went either from Glen Rothis or Mark Inch and left there and then went to Edinburgh. Come on. Keep pressing buttons and making it click and it's just not enough. I'm trying to get. The brakes to go further down. Oh, we're all right. It stopped this time. It stopped. Yeah. I know, like, the likes of British East and all that. Something was going on about the textures here were a bit rubbish. Because they just. Because of the grass and that. But it's because it's trimmed, it is actually a problem. No, no to plant grass, that's why it looks like this. Not going to be many. You're in the city, this bit here, they'll go well mowed. Some out of the mowing. Yeah, I know there's compl there's complaints about textures and stuff like that in some way. Any improvements that get done will get done, uh, I'm guessing, over time. As I say, it needs more layers on it. One five eight's meant to come to it because um, it does run up and down here. As I say, they're all going on about licensing for some of the trains and stuff. And uh, Zuma does go up and down here because obviously it goes up to Aberdeen, early an hour. Um, but the, tra the train that we use in this one doesn't go up there because it doesn't have the diesel engine. So. I'm assuming maybe we might get that train at a later date or such a thing. As I said, I'm going like that. It's like all of a sudden I was like on upon the gateway. I was like that. Oops, because I went through the tunnel. And I was, Ooh, there's a shopping centre under the road. I went. Oh, there's a train station. <laughs> Whoopsie. That sort of thing. There we go. Hey, this is better, Dave. This is better. This is much better. I'm much more on time. So this is the where you would connect with the trams to get to the airport if either coming down from the north or somewhere else. More likely from the north rather than anything else. So let's have a wee look outside. Right, they were, as I said, they were going about, there wasn't any overhead catenary. There still isn't any overhead catenary. Do you hear? That's what I was saying, they were, that's what they're supposing, because that's a tram depot. This bit here, they should obviously need overhead catenary over, over, the, over the depot. So that the. 
there's and there's none of it. You know, I mean, it's it's very silly. They've missed bits out. That's why people are saying about this being rushed out a bit much. Little things like that, like that, you know. There's a hill stop button somewhere. I seen a. Uh, Warm my feet up. That's a ding ding. Or a buzz buzz. Is it, is it a ding ding or a buzz buzz? It's a beep 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 beep. Very quiet. The signal. Yep. It was real dad. He done it, and he basically showed us a. Dad. Yeah, a button for basically hill hill starts. And it should. He was basically. He was going on. It, was, it should be the button that's on the side of the. That's a power power handle. But it doesn't seem to appear when you sort of hover over it. That wee button there. Right, so we can get to Dalmany. When we get to Dalmany, we'll get. This is the end of the airport here. You can see the airport tower. It's, it's, again, the airport actually has a distinct lack of the uh, farm market that seems to be from back in the, in the 40s when it was the military airport. The, there is a lot of grass, yes. There's not a lot of uh, this bit here. It doesn't seem to be, can't seem a bit of the packing onto the air. There isn't a lot of detail, detail there. We have some more. Yeah. So we're at 80 coming up. So when I'm going to work, I should be going underneath the, the bridge coming up. Just where they beat. My pal Slav will be checking if there's a train coming. So we come down that road and then head off to work. Right. 80 coming up. Make sure we're not exploring it too much. Right. We'll just lift off. So actually, this, is, this one's got a lot more view. You can see a lot more out of the, out of the cabs compared to the electrical one. T85. There's a lot more visual. Yeah, so we've got to get to Dalmany. As I say, I've seen people stream it and mispronounce some of the names. So, so we're still on the south side of the fourth. After this, we'll be on the north side. So, we're in the five.
This would be quite smooth, even at 100. So you can start to see the fourth bridge there. Fourth rail bridge. Or fourth bridge, right? So, obviously, there's Dalmeny. Dalmeny is here, and then you go down in the South Queen's Ferry. You go for a wee Hello, pint. Dave. Hi, Arnold. This is local to me. You've got a good time in you get to see the fourth rail bridge on the game. Not for real, but in the game. It's quite good. It's actually done, been done quite well. So how you doing, Arnold? I've not tried race C yet. Or do you want me to do race C today? I'm going to make a fool of myself. I'll be making a fool of myself on this. I keep going past train stations and I shouldn't be. A couple minutes to do this. You, you like watching me make a fool of myself. Not done any dailies. Oh, I haven't today. I'm, I'm question. I'm asking you. Do you want me to stream and you can watch me do some? Uh, so that's the two road bridges, the fourth bridge and the Queensferry crossing, just right behind it. There we go. It's just, just popped in. That's the Queensferry crossing. That's the latest one in the background. So that's the fourth rail bridge. I'm done quite well. Hey Dave, slow down. Press the right okay, button. Then I can have a laugh. As I was saying, I thought you could have a laugh but watch me earlier on and fly through the stations. Yeah. As I was asking you, basically, you want me to do Gran Turismo so you can have a good laugh watching me and fool myself on race 3 and see if my arms do fall off yeah so that's a, that's the two road bridges there you've got the fourth bridge road bridge which is going to be 60 years old this year and then you got the Queen's Ferry crossing the latest. Hope they add more stuff to it, but we'll see. If we're going to go a direction that not everybody's been going. I think everybody's going a lot of. Yeah, I think most people are going across the up the coastal way. We're going up past Roth Scythe and then Dunfermline. So we're going the sort of inland route of the route. So. As I say, I might jump into free room and then run up the railway <laughs> railway line if possible and then get to Mark Inch and then come back to Edinburgh and call it quits on it. So I've done Glasgow to Edinburgh earlier on. I was trying to do as if it was like Glasgow to Edinburgh. I've, I've kind of mucked this one up a wee bit because I keep missing, missing my stops. So it's not been very uh, smooth sailing, put it that way. It's been quite hilarious, actually. So North Queen's Ferry here. It's where you go off to go to Deep Sea World. Now, I think when you get all the collectibles, you'll be able to spot it or something. There's, there's something there. You've got lots of collectibles on, on, on the train stations. It's always good for a laugh. Although it's too sunny for Fife, it must be. It's a bit of bite and horrible here though. Right. So, yeah, the 158s so, are. Uh, if they're still running them on the uh, Midland Railway one, the one I've I got going to Derby and Nottingham and Leicester. 
in the minute come late or the obviously it's added DLC unfortunately. It's got real livery. It adds obviously more layers to it, doesn't it? They're proposing to put on the, the leave-in branch when it comes operational as well on it. So. And the key things in it stop for me. That's funny because I go this way, right, and there's a 40 mile an hour speed limit. But when I go the other way, there isn't. Ooh, it's starting to rain. There's my wipers. It's slow. Need, need, need the wipers on. It's supposed to be putting the wipers on. Get the speed up in a minute. Slow down, but it's because we will be going down to a 30. We'll have to go down to 30 because we've got. Junction going down into Rothside. So this is typical Scottish weather. This is more like it's like outside right now in my house. It's getting closer and closer. We'll soon arrive at and the key thing. Yeah, it was. It was sort of like this when I arrived at the thing, but I was trying to find the. Controls for the cloud and that, and it wouldn't let me adjust it. It was weird. Normally it does. And you slow, slow it down because you're you know that far from the stop, and it's wet. So there will be added. And you slow down. So I'll, I'll do that for young Arnold. I think I'll do that for young Arnold. He'll want he'll want to watch me. Make an edit of myself on Gran Turismo. So my my thought is, I wonder if I'm going to get, I can do it and get to back to Edinburgh for, before one o'clock if I get the Mark Inch. Let's see if we can hear hear the it, it pop off. It's almost sleety, isn't it? As I say, the rain's done a lot better than it has been before. Certainly from inside. That's the back. Of, that's my rear. That's where. I've, that's where I've just come from. I'm going this way. So, the key thing. The next one should be Rothsyth. I say, I'll let the wee lady do all the announcements. She'll keep me right. Which is. Uh, Stops them doing. There's a lot of people. What they certainly doing is they're going up the coastal path up towards Kakodi and on the Mark Inch. So we're we're going opposite direction of the circle. We're going up that way, and everybody else goes that way. We're just having a change of scenery compared to. Other people streaming it. It's good to show both bits. I think, as I say, I think Pete recently has just shown a full circle. I think he has done a sort of probably down from, came from either Glen Rothes or Mark Inch down to Edinburgh and back up on the other way. I think he's he's done that. That's what I mean. As long as I'm under thirty, I'll be all right. And we will get going once past the thirty zone. It's 
obviously we're going to Rothsyth and that's kind of where Navy get their ships fitted. So a lot of the fitting the, the ships, the main bodywork of the ships built in the Clyde or something like that, you know. Then they, they have to come round, get all the other bits, fittings and bits and bobs, the electronics and stuff like that to in, in the Roth South Naval Yard. Right, so we, we're, we're going up now, we're going up here to control. Obviously, the track's a bit wet, so it's a bit slippery. Traction is not the greatest then. Steep hill, this isn't it? So, like the slope to speed off. Good horn, mate. Like a train with a good horn, Dave. People like to know that you're coming, you know? <laughs> I've just said oh I'm away in my, my so, a very Scottish voice let's turn into proclaimers I'm on my way from misery to happiness today uh huh I better shut up Oh, well, I think everybody would know that one if you've watched Strike. The first one. First, first Strike. The wee bit where they're, they're starting off on their quest and... Don't go on Factor Law. No, I, I wouldn't go on X Factor. I wasn't trying to do it back. I was just like, uh -huh. Right, okay. Right, going forward. Who wants to go on X Factor? I just made a fool of myself. I should say, there's apparently there's a hill start button, but it won't let me. Press the sand button, Dave, there you go, get some grip. It won't let me, I think you have to have the, all the other functions for the driver to make that wee button there, that's a hill start button, that one. Nah. Who wants to go next but to the enemy army? You have to hold that down forever. <laughs> So you do, you want to go, you, I haven't heard you singing yet, you're going to sing Gavin's song. So we just left for a side and we're just going up, now you can confirm them. Of course there's a wheel over there now, kind of moving away from it, of course a little bit. Inland. I love it. S typical Scottish weather. Eh? Typical. That's why I wanted the dynamic weather. I was 
I mean, who knows? It's perfect. You don't know what season it's going to be. It could be anything. You need more because otherwise it just, it's just spinning. It's just mm, spinning. Spin, spin, spin. Running a wee bit late, but as I say, we'll do this with a laugh. We'll run to Mark Inch from where we work for this. A good couple of miles or so, but uh, I'm hoping we can just pull the tracks round. Yeah, and kind of have a bit of a laugh. Forget to go slower, Dave. Let's go slower. Slow, slow. Do the. Slow, slow. Do it. We'll soon arrive at Dunfermline City. Don't forget to take your belongings with you before you And well, hopefully we, uh, that's, a, that's if you were coming from the motorway, you would head in this way to up, to, up in the Dunfermline. I have to come off the motorway. So I'm running a wee bit late here, but... See that, that, these bits, these markers are actually for being how many cars. See, stop, car stop. Four, three, and I'm guessing if you've got two, you there's probably a, a marker for you are two car. Uh, train it depends on what length of your train is. Picking up these little things from watching other people's streams. This is where we need the. You need the hill stop button to hold on it. Right. Queen Margaret. From Fermlin, that's the next. The very famous queen in Scotland. Because that's where you get Saint Margaret from in Scotland. And the queen Margaret. Is it King Malcolm's wife or something like that? I think it was, it was something like that. It was from yesteryears, you know. Almost Arthur's time, King Arthur time, that sort of yeah, period in, in history. So, 10th and 11th centuries time. That, that's the oldest building in uh, Edinburgh Castle, St Margaret's Chapel. So we go in the hilly way. You're going up towards Glenrothes. 
other than the coastal path. And pouring rain. The typical Scottish weather. Certainly they've done the rain effects better than this one, even than they did the original one. I still think you've got icy bits in it. Coast it and it'll slow down a bit. We'll soon arrive at Dunfermline, Queen Margaret. Don't forget Take your belongings with you before you leave the train. Yeah, any any students on here they might want to not leave their, their laptops behind us or anything like that. Right, see this is this is proper Scottish weather, isn't it? Started off, it was all sunny and nice. No, no, it can't be Scotland. No chance. A good couple of minutes late at the moment. Stop. Because yeah. you see, we finish up here. See my 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 brain says run up here. Mark inch. Then start mark inch. Be basically do a full circle. It finish in Edinburgh, see if see if the weather's have improved when we got to get back to Edinburgh. I don't have, seem to have a hill start button on, uh, available to me or if there is I, I can't find it it should be on the, as I say on the edge of the control handle there so the driver can click that so it leaves a wee bit of braking available before he pulls away Beast. Stop. It is rather than wet and nasty, isn't it? Mm -hmm. There's lots of sightings for something. Listen, if we've got freight trains or something, you want to pass them your services to go by. Stuff like that. We'll, we'll do we'll do that we'll good do that for a laugh we'll go back down to Edinburgh from Markinch just wait for our train service to appear and we'll just dive on that train take over it so basically get a full five circle and the Glasgow to Edinburgh at the same time Everyone's over now. Is that lightning? Is it? Is it? Is it lightning? 
a flicker of the light. Giving this a whole lot of flooring to try and get up the hill. Okay, so I've got a 35 mile an hour speed limit coming up, but that's after counting beef. Should have counted beef before we had the. There's a wee wiggly bit there, so I'm guessing that that's the, the 35 mile out. Now going downhill. Keep the brakes on. I'm going uphill now. <laughs> we'll, we'll just let the, the slope slow down a bit. A few undulations up and down, up and down, up and down. So we're now going downhill and towards Cowden Beef. Definitely breaking is a good idea. We'll soon arrive at Cowden Beef. Don't forget to take your belongings with you before you leave. Yeah, this isn't a good thing for anybody else that isn't Scottish and they want to know how to say place names. Now, the Scottish lady will announce them for you. She'll tell you how to see it. As I say, I'm not too fussed about timing in that. Probably harder due to the fact that PM rain and you get less grip on the rails. It's a bit slippery. And the beach train station. I'm trying to stop myself going forward. <laughs> that was like that. Not really. So we go. If I had that, found that button, or made that work somehow, yeah, that'd be great. Lock the alley is roughly where it should be a big TV transmitter. Somewhere around there. I 
Try and keep the speed speed to the five mile an hour. It increases to forty in a minute. Slow section here then. The cat's wondering around if he's wanting something. <laughs> Anybody in the kitchen? That equals food for me, surely. Maybe be better if it was not so wet and horrible, eh? And, uh, yeah, that's, this is typical Scotland, Scottish weather, this. You can't have it too much sunshine. This is the li this is sunshine liquid form, as you see. Pass that station, we'll go past them. Some cooling and more yelling in here. Trying to go to the earlier when it's like no. Alright, not too bad. That's not too bad. Really? Just these more layers and stuff like than this one. A free service, a few free services would be pretty good. Lots of tens. Four of them. Card they didn't. Card done. Ten. As I say. We'll do this for a laugh and we'll, we'll do the, the sprint to Mark Inch from Green Lot, Green Lot, with us. There's a wee bit of a trek. I mean, he's been got a train going back down to Edinburgh. It'd be cheeky and just be a passenger and look at the window. It's 
some breaking David. Go full war. Cat's pulling the wave to So we'll do that, and we'll do some, we'll do some Gran Turismo for, for Arnold, because he likes, he likes old Gran Turismo. I do a couple of races, I'll not do too many, because they are long. Never, never a race, so nearly. Depends on the weather, I suppose, if it's peeing down. I think be between that I shall get food. And I might enhance my performance if I get food. <laughs> I'm not time I don't worry too much I'm just kind of maybe you know I'm a bit late but that's fine so that's the last one is Glenn Lothar so that's the next one Thornton, but it's a tiny, it's like a tiny wee extension that comes out here. And you used to go forward and then come back. You can get it out of the Downhill Green Rockers with Thornton platform. Mm -hmm. I'm guessing what we will do, we're actually going to swap the track at some point as we get there. What we do in real life is we stop there and then what we do is we change over try and then head back the other way go as fast as go it, it lets us go Stop there. We limit sixty. Okay, get there and then we'll run up the railway line. Mark Inch here. It's not very far away. It actually won't take too long. Not a lot to see out there, is it? Just pee in the rain. And then we'll go down the coast and see if it stops raining. We'll, we'll steal one of the, the trains going down the way. We'll do that. Just off, off for a bit of fun. Gets the full circle in as well. Uh, 
to see if the weather improves when we get back to Ed Edinburgh. I don't know. Might get worse. Who knows? But we'll see what they do with this. As it is, a wee expansion pop popping out. Added to it when it actually is available in real life. Leaving branch. It's going to get added. And hopefully, you can sort one or two things out. It's not too bad. It's, it's actually, as you see, all continuity sections like on the trams, the tram depot could be great to buy, hopefully. It's like that. Yeah, overhead continuing. Uh, it was just a. Somebody said that. I think it was real dad, and he was. He was kind of, kind of laughing at it because it's like, it's all right everywhere else apart from the the, the actual tram deco. How does that work? <laughs> Is <coughs> you keep putting more detail in uh, uh, and then as I, as I said, focus it be nice at the Edinburgh Airport that you can see planes landing and taking off. <coughs> Excuse me. Little, just little things like that is what people are saying. The there is actually probably beyond the, the platform. I'm just going past this wee dip somewhere. It's like a wee dip over here. Something. I feel like this is the way it looks, it's just like we were going in the middle of nowhere. It's damn the time. The weather's not overly kind. Area. But I am not sure it's a good idea to run, run all the way around to Mark and it sounds like a good, good plan anyway. I mean, an, an, an interesting uh, manoeuvre. We'll soon arrive at Glenrothes with Thornton. Don't forget to take your belongings with you before you leave the train. This is where what on the the guy on the game and they went in real life he actually stopped changed the side there and then went to get ready to head back the other way let's have a look at right, Glenn Rothis We'll shut down the cable, we'll be all sensible in that way, you know. Let people off. Headlights off. 
just waiting for people to wipe us off. Close the doors. Turn the free room. Yeah. So it's doing the tiny, it's basically doing a sort of changeover bit. I'll ask if I'm, why I'm not continuing that one because that'll do the, the uh, go forward. I then change over there. That's 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 what that is all about. That's all that that's all that's about that one. So let's get the collectibles over here, Dave. People you know. Train will do it itself. It'll, it'll ask if I'm continuing I'll do it. No, no, I'm not doing it. I not to control said train. See what collectibles we can find. Hopefully, it'll do it itself. I'll tell, I'll tell me, are you jumping in there? No, no, I'm not jumping in there. That's just doing a wee, a wee changeover section. Basically, it comes over to this side. There. Let's see what's available. What bits of me get on and off. We're looking for any seals. Any seals? Mm. Print equals some. Maybe root map, yeah. And he put some poster. Doesn't seem much uh, stuff on this platform, is there? There's obviously not much to the platform, is it? It's amazing we're doing it itself. The sort of thing they'll put hide a seal in the corner of these bits. Look at that. There it is. There's a seal. You don't want to leave things like that out just in case. And so, see so that'll be that's going around to turn, turn around. I'll just say I can't remember if I've got any more on that. I'm just going back twice. Just be sure because I'm then going to run up the railway track. Right, so the driver here is doing this the wee sort of turn around section here. Just make sure I haven't missed anything. There's obviously very little at the station. So that's what he's doing, he's doing that. The turn around so the train comes in here. Because I'm in a free room, right? Oh, okay. Cool. So let's now run and let the clappers to Mark Inch. Hopefully, we can run along here. As I say, it's the, the computer's doing it itself, so I'm, I seem to seem to be getting uh, some points for uh, doing it. Why? Not actually driving the damn thing. So there's a bit of a sprint to, to Mark Inch now. I'm only doing this because I've done this sort of Edinburgh Glasgow. So I ended up in Edinburgh and then um obviously see if you're doing the five circle pop properly in this game you'd be starting at either Glen Rothes or Mark Inch and finishing it in the other one. Okay, you just do a, 
a free roam, you can just wait for a service, jump in the that train to that point. <laughs> I get points for doing so though. Fantastic. It's a circle, but it's not a circle, if you know what I mean. As you can see, there's not a lot of distance between the two sections. That's the Glen Rothis bit. So I'm, I'm, I'm running up as if I'm heading towards the other station, uh, Mark Inch. It'd be nice if it just continued and went up to Mark Inch and stopped there. It obviously doesn't in this game. In real life, it, it doesn't seem to do that. It seems to, at Glen Rothis, it seems to do what it's doing, turns around. So that's us coming to the other track now. So this is the what will come down. We'll come down from Mark Inch in the stormy weather. We'll go down the coast we'll go down the coastal way. This is more fun way doing it. It's like waiting for the train going, come on, yeah. And it just, it just runs away as you get there. It shouldn't take me long to get there, actually. It shouldn't take me long. And I think the services are quite frequent. I mean, as I said, they should have a lot of, there's a lot of different trains, more trains than you think go up and down here. They're just not featured on the... DLC. And hopefully they layer in more of the more of the trains that do go up and down here. One five eight. They're waiting to get. They're going to have it as an added DLC, which is annoying because we've already got one five eight in the game. It's just not in Scott Rail livery. And five years more that you go up towards Dunfermline and that, you know. There's bits where they, they couple together. Because I think what it is, you get one train going one way, one going the other way. I think that's, that's what will hopefully get stuff like that. Yeah, the one five eight coupled to a one seventy. I was watching one of the videos from Mega Sims, he was in Waverly going, mm, look, look up line. <laughs> I think it is, obviously, it's the ones that are pure train buffs that are very much like that, you know. I like train, but that's the same, not a pure train spot. That should have that on it. That should have just a. Uh, and this game, it's a case of. For me, it's just like I'll play the game, have fun. And now we're having a walking simulator. It's a bit of a walking simulator up to Mark Inch. <laughs> in the in the stormy weather, the trophy for walking in the stormy weather. How far away from Mark Inch are we? So that's going to be the leaving uh, bit of branch. It's going to be a wee bit on there as well. Don't know how long that is going to be, but when that opens. It'll be just like an odd train that will go down to leaving. Yeah, this is a walking simulator of a five circle currently. And then we'll 
as is. When we get to Mark Inch, we'll wait for our train, hijack it, head back to Edinburgh. I get a break. And maybe do one or two races of, of a race C. I'm unlikely to get to B level again on this race, I don't think. I might do if people all decide to I've had enough and run away, because that's the problem with such a long race. People give up and can't be bothered. So this is the walkie simulator for the next 10 minutes. Mm, look at the tracks. I'm a deer going across. Ding, 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 ding. Splattered by a train. But that's the same. If they got the, is it the 800s? Not the ones with the diesel uh, engine in it. Coming up and down here as well. It'd be good. You know, from Edinburgh to... Because they go up to Aberdeen and that, you know. So it'd be... It'd be fun. That's why people go, why have we got this one? One well, is mainly just electric. It's not... Uh, it's not got the hybrid of the diesel. It has a diesel motor, but... There's the, I think the maximum speed's like 40 mile an hour or something like that. It's not very fast. not ideal for if you're trying to get anywhere. So when we get a mark inch, it can't be far away, surely. This <laughs> is were you playing Death Stranded? No, 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 this is a uh, DSW4. But you said it was a walking simulator. No, no. That's what Death Stranded used to get called, eh? the walking simulator. It's actually a good game, it is a very good game. Very, very nice. Mm, sunshine in real life at the moment, inside. Will we get that when we get back down to Edinburgh? That's the question. This is this is this is the this is a, obviously not the fun bit of doing this. I'd rather do it like this is for for a bit of a laugh, and then we'll get on the on our train, hijack it. Your money or your life. Take your life, you can take your money as well. I don't know where this guy, but a uh, highwayman seems to be from the southwest for some reason. Your money, your life. Your money, or your company, Arister. And the fish man's about you. I can hear the honking of the horn. He's man outside. As you see the speed limit is 60 mile an hour, I should have an HST. That's the same, people want things like that, the HST layered in, 
Into the game. I mean, uh, it'd be nice if they actually done it for free, rather than everybody, like all these guys that are fantastic in making the deliveries up the trains, and you can put the layer, put the it looks like Mark Inch up here now. Mm. Right, we've, now we've run from Glenrothes to Mark Inch. We just have to wait for a train. We'll see if there's any uh, collectibles for us as well while we're at it. So here's Mark Inch. We need to wait for a train to appear. We'll, we'll read the board when we get there. They'll tell us. We've got we've got mark out, we just need to see if there's any collectibles for us to get anything up here. Ooh, and we'll up here them we can our collectibles. How far out this is this bust bust me again. Right. Yeah, as far as that as far as we can go around the the in the station, must be something in the station. Uh, uh, hiding in the station. Oh, I'm at Juno, you know, I'm quite surprised. I thought that, I thought there might be like a seal or something hiding in the station. Because you can get in it, the new building. Right. Stay this side, see what we can find. See if we missed it. Uh, as I say, I'm waiting for a train to come in the opposite direction. There's a plant around me, you can do that. Yeah, that's what we're looking for. We're probably we've not got time for rolling around, so we're going to have to you know, take over, take over. Go to the service. Scenario. Ooh, it's actually getting sunny on the game. Yes. Starting. Right. Cool. Right. Go. Scheduled at twelve. Twelve twelve to leave. Cool. Um it lights. Do I running? Bit intermittent. Because it is getting brighter out there. We've got a few minutes for it to leave, so we're all good. Right, so we've got a few minutes for it to leave. So that's, that's, there's all the buttons up there, two things, so we've got a little bit to wait. 12 to have it leaves, and this will take us down the, the other coast. I really a smash light, I thought. Well, there's a lift. We can use a lift. I just wonder, is it anything up here? 
and collectibles. You can run around there. Better go on this way because then we can run out the other platform. Can't go in that way. I wasn't sure if that was a but you could run. You can. That's okay. Let's get back in the train. Let's get back in the train. Close the door and we can wait. As I say, it's getting brighter. And we're heading south, we'll be a full, full circle. This is when you sort of zoom in with the camera like that and you go, oh, this is such and such a collectible. I have to remember that the night when I'm searching for my collectibles. Yes, this is heading back in towards Edinburgh. Welcome to the Scotrail service to Edinburgh Waverley. Yep. So we've got two minutes still for to before it actually leaves. So, so we can Burnt Island. Aberdower. Dalgetty Bay, Inverkeven, Edinburgh Gateway. So we get to see it on opposite way. At least we missed in in a couple of minutes. That's just a thankful scenario. I only get around here. Plenty of all. Yeah, I've not seen much unless there's stuff hiding around the corner here. Yeah, I don't see anything else hiding around the, this bit of platform. That's the sort of thing you do, the hide things behind things. And you go, where is it? Yeah, we're just gonna head out down towards Edinburgh. We've done Edinburgh to Glasgow, and then from Edinburgh up to Glen Rothes, ran along the tracks up to Markinch. As you can see, and then in Markinch, and then close the doors, and head back to Edinburgh. So there we go. There is full five circle. And then also a uh, Glasgow to Edinburgh. Uh, so it's a, it is a long stream, put it that way. Yeah, it was hilarious me trying to do the uh, earlier on, and it was just like I kept missing platforms, put it that way. How many platforms have I missed? Lots too. Yeah, there's always a first state, first or second station of the, each of the routes I started taking over from. And so we're leaving Mark Hinch. So we have come from Glasgow, which is this direction, into Edinburgh, up the Five Circle, up to the Green and the Office. Ran like the clappers are up here, and then we're just heading out heading back down towards Edinburgh so I can go home and get my cup of my tea, my dinner. After my dinner I might do some racing. Yeah that I'll I might even actually just we'll see what we do.
because they've got one of the tanks has got a new season out, so that's uh, that's another sort of thought to myself. I'm going to like one of the tanks, so it's good for, for fun. I was sped too much somewhere. I think I think I had fractionally got. I've got a fifteen in there. It does look quite nice. It's actually quite a nice looking. Uh, I'm just hoping they, well, they do do one or two updates on it. Just because there is bits missing, it should be, you know, and stuff like that. People who follow the do trains in real life or more train sporty than me, I am. I'm just sort of as a casual. I like playing with the trains on the on this this game. It's good fun. It's good fun. You just chill out and relax. It's good. I'm just actually going to like, more or less coast because I'm looking at the time I've got six minutes to get there and I'm only really doing how just. Like coast, don't need any throttle. Get ourselves down to Kukodi. As I say, the, that's the leaving whole branch that's meant to open at some point. So when that opens in real life, I think that's when they're going to add it to the game. See, that's playing with us. So I don't know if it going via if you're using the playing with us route or if you're using the or anything else. We'll, we'll see. We'll see. There's lots of. That's where I was. I uh, just ran all the way up there. Ran a couple of miles <laughs> to get up to Markin. As you do, you're doing fine. So we get the cod it. Uh, as I say, I listen to some of the pronunciations, and I I don't blame people from uh, England or other places in the UK. It's in different words to name to the way how it's spelled and stuff because uh, I was watching British Ace Peter who he was, he was like that it was a uh, Kirk Caldy Kirk Caldy he was in Kirk Caldy as we'll say there's no there's no uh, you or anything that's Caldy I understand why he says stuff like that because of how it's spelled and if you got to be moss. hi mark moss <laughs> i'm not Ma moss you're mark moss i'm dave how are you doing yeah i like various games and this is a good wee game just to chill out with So about three and a half minutes to get caught it. Nice to meet you, Mark. Nice to see you popping in. It's like it's, it's nice to see new f names and faces. It wouldn't really be faces, but certainly names in chat. That's good. Because I. I just like playing different games, don't I? I don't just specifically stick to one game or type the genre. I like David. David is my name, Mark. Yeah, if you, people come into the chat and say hello, it's great. 
I think a lot of people just sort of look and they sort of look and mm. does he in and there's a, a lot of the reason I, I go into uh, streams and I'd rather chat than not chat because it's actually more fun a lot more fun for you because it, it's a lot more interactive and that's the whole point of it person streaming wants the people who are watching them interact with them it doesn't matter if it's a lady or a guy it doesn't so it's just if you get interaction happy days so here it's just, just pulling into Kakadi now I say it's one of the guys that likes following me, um, Arnold, he, he is asking me basically am I playing Gran Turismo later on because I know he likes to watch me play Gran Turismo not just because I'm good at it or anything because I'm not good at it not compared to the top guys but he likes watching me because he knows if I've been it I started going ah fuck and he goes, I'm on the put Ooh, and the angry Scotsman time. <laughs> yes, angry Scotsman. Right. Okay, we're just heading into Gorkodi. It's not heavy, heavy rain, so we don't need to up the wipers. We'll just... There you go. Lady just tells you how to say say the name place names. This is good. Yeah, I've I've had quite a lot quite an insane little uh, route here. This is what this has actually been quite good fun. It works really well for me because obviously this is like local train services for me as local as it can be anyway right so passengers leave at, at 2023 probably minutely it's fine If you look off over the first of course across this direction, that's where I stay. I'm about here some, somewhere on the map. <laughs> King Horns and it's stopped. takes as long as it takes basically I'm actually quite surprised I didn't have the ability to change the weather it gave me pretext but it didn't give me the ability to change what weather I wanted it to be to start with, which is really it was quite annoying. I don't know if it's just for this or not, or if it's other other uh, routes. I have a wee look. You can always have a look, can't you? Get some speed up, Dave. Stadium, race overs. To be honest, see, see when you actually go past Murrayfield, you should be able to see the top of Town Castle. 
I've never actually looked for it. Do you know why? I'm a Hibs fan. <laughs> I'm, I'm the other side of town. I'm the, I, I support the other side. It's probably why I've not looked to see if you can see Tyne Castle when you go past sort of Haymarket and Murrayfield Stadium because that's on the opposite side of the the tracks. I should have a wee look. But there should be a football ground there. And we'll do it on the main end, we'll have a look. But I know I know why it's probably <laughs> they don't look that way it's like, ooh, rugby stadium. I know that one. Been there many times. Go. No, quite a lot of people obviously. I don't hear nobody, anybody, hearts or head supporters. The only, the only banter is be sitting in the site. The other sides are doing rubbish. We know, we all both know our teams are not the greatest. Put that on me. Definitely one of the best football teams on the planet. They're okay. Right, yeah, yeah, press me thing. Right, better slow her down. Well, 45 coming up. Don't forget to take your belongings with you before you leave the train. Bit in the slowest one. A little bit to get in the king or here. That's not too shabby. Not too bad. Right, so that's in King, King And King it was here at Kinghorn and I had people going past and I went drove through or something and they, I'm sure somebody hurled themselves off the walkway. <laughs> they went past me. They went past me. Committing suicide. Definitely a lot of people trying to go up and down there, not all getting in each other's way. Right, Burnt Island next stop. There we go, dirty coming up. We go past. Harbour. I'm sure that's what it was. The bit, the, the reason one of the bits we go loose was a wee tunnel here. Yeah. Okay, just speed up after that. Let's get through the tunnel. Let's see, there's the marker there, 65. Yeah. 
getting towards Point Island now. Not sunny enough. See that lump bit over there? I reckon, I reckon that's off. Only lump of rock you can think of. Uh, you can think of to be representing. Oh, from this part of the I'll have to see you essentially near before we finish. There's Waverley, roughly a bit over here, Kings Park. Did you see that, guys? Did you see that? I didn't get the name wrong. And the reason is great. King's Park because it's no longer the Queen reigning as a king. So they changed the name of the Queen's Park, keep changed to King's Park. After 70 years or so <laughs> being called the Queen's Park. Still down. It's just coming in one island. Where are we now from it? That's what I like about the mini um, map at the top there because it gives, gives you all the speed indicators gives you, gives you the speed indicators so it's really really good it should be quite good Did you see that here the me announcement there we're going to make the wet weather? At least <laughs> it didn't do it in the Scottish way. It's pissing the rain, son. <laughs> Watch yourself. <laughs> right. That's a wee, a wee announcement there. So basically, it is raining. We gotta go across the fourth bridge twice. Do this. Do what we're doing. So, Abadar. So basically, I've done. I'm doing a full circle of the uh, the five circle in a weird, wonderful way. There's Abadur, there's Burton Island Harbour. Uh, this is the came from Glasgow to Edinburgh, changed the DLC from Edinburgh up to the Glen Office, ran up to Markinch. And was, the timing was great. The timing was great for a train to appear. Fantastic. It was just good timing, it was like, woo. I like when you get typing like that. <laughs> it's like that's the one for me. That's my train. And it was gonna sit there for about three or four minutes and then the rains started so it was good. So if you jump in it it was a twelve twelve but I had two minutes before it was actually due to leave then. So that was good stuff. I'm trying to find the collectibles, you know. If we get all the collectibles, we should then be able to see Beat Sea World, something like that. I think it was, uh, we only really see it if you're coming from the south going north, I suppose. It's 
ce să de bombe cu autobuzul, So that's actually pretty much ideal. That's, I mean, that's actually done quite well, I think. It's pretty nice. I'm just going to release the, the power. I think it was Shibuya Gate for Diamond. Plus we've got a 55 coming up anyway, so we need to a little bit of breaking. Just bring her down uh, close to the 55, and the rest of the slope should slow us down. So Abadur, that's the next stop, Abadur. Lady do the announcement for us. We'll soon arrive at Upper Diamond. Don't forget to take your belongings with you before you leave the train. It's going slightly uphill here. It's helping me with my I'm slowing down. I hit the three just deliberately just to be sure. Right. Coasting. Hey, oh, the sun's come out, so I'm gonna have to I'm gonna take the wipers off. Don't need the wipers now. Stop raining. A bit far away from the stopping point. Worry about the wipers when we get stopped. Ah. Don't need the wipers running now, it stopped raining. It's like here, it stopped raining. Similar weather now. Cloudy, so a bit of cloud and a bit of sunshine. Too dissimilar, it brightened up. Well, it has improved. Doors. No baby. Nice one. So, how long we got? Four minutes. Depends how much power I can put down without it, so I feel it's going to start doing wheel spins and stuff. Okay. We're certainly not doing three any uh, full full whack dipping wheel wheel spinning. That's all we do. We have a sander button. I don't know. If that is. Difference to my traction and put it a little bit faster. Or is it just no, no. Yeah, to help the traction, you know? We're getting there, we'll get there. It's probably go up and then down a yell again, so some hike over on the side. Oh, Alright, we've got three minutes, David, we've got three minutes. Absolutely nothing to panic and worry about. You get there when you get there, essentially.
Yeah, it's just a nice one. You see names you haven't seen before in your stream and you go, hello? It's good to see old faces as well. I've got a uh, guys from Australia, Neon Sphere, a lot of people, um, and Gran Turismo chat, no, no, um, uh, but he's streaming a lot more these days, and uh, yeah, he has uh, colourful words at times. <laughs> Some of his streams. He's good. He's a good watch, and it's good because it's always good when you see the same folk in their streams. There's only you get a bunch of guys that always start chatting to each other from because they met each other and usually bigger streamers chat, and they just start chatting to each other. Everybody subscribes to each other's channel and stuff like that. Good fun. Right, so we'll dial gate a base shortly. We'll soon arrive at Dalgetty Base. Don't forget to take your belongings with you before you leave the train. Everybody in for diamond, not too bad. Let it cost a wee bit more, David, because probably slowed down a bit too much. It's good because we get to go across the big red bridge again. End up in Edinburgh. Stop, I'm not gonna stop. Oh, good. We went a wee bit too far, that's not too bad. Car stop three and six, so if we've got six or four or six stop cars stop there and there's a three and a two depending on how many cars you've got on your train and the key thing right, so this is where the in the key thing is for the you join up again. We've already been there, so we we went around this way previously. But somebody says it's a new sort the little pathway for when you're going up to Glen Rothes. It shows you going up the coast. Which is totally wrong. Hopefully that will get fixed at some point. Yeah, it doesn't matter if you're going to learn going in Lothis or Kakodi or Mark Inch. It just shows you the same pathway on the on the map. Not quite right, is it? You completely different. Hey, hey. Hi Neon! Just talking about you. Just talking about your fun little channel that's got up to 100 subs now. It's 101 by now, maybe. I'm just seeing, seeing stuff about. Yeah, I've, I've been on here for quite a while actually today. Take your belongings with you. I'm doing with smiling eyes. <laughs> well, we'll have to mention you, Neon. It's such a colourful channel. 
<laughs> Is that just the language? You're not done race C yet. I definitely induce colourful language from yourself, I reckon. I want. I, I would love to see that. I, I think it'd be fantastic. It'd be funny. No. I think it'd just be hilarious. That's why Arnold watches me when I play Gran Turismo because he watches me for getting frustrated and annoyed and stuff like that. No, not tried race yet, but I'm thinking about it. Low. It's. It is a very good race. It is a good race. What you want to do is make sure you got a good qualifying time. I, I enjoy it. Oh, we've got quite a long stint, stint to wait here actually. We can do, do some collectibles where we're waiting. Can find some collectibles on 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 route. Dun, 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 dun. Don't mind me. I see if there's any seals that we've got to find, or I've seen the planter, so that, that was a good way. We can't go in the car park. See if we can go. The main reason you want to see out the area you can run around in is. I will determine whether you can, you have to, there's, there's easy, you see it, there's a little fish. And pop over the, and we'll, any other stuff, do 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 do. I'm going to run late anyway. I'm just trying to see if there's any collectibles. There's probably more. We'll do some of it as we go along. Because it might be sort of stuff on the walkway. There is a poster, I can see that. Bing. On the fourth rail bridge. Supposed to put up into the dream on Mr. Driver. And lock the doors. And you're only 15 20 seconds late. You're okay. You're all good. There you go. Now. The unusual thing you get to see Ed Edinburgh in, in, in the sunlight. It stopped raining now, it was pouring in the game earlier on, which is a bit more natural. We haven't got any other stops until the gateway. I know, as I say, it seems to be mirroring, mirroring the, the weather outside. It was raining earlier on this game and then it stopped raining here. Oh, I, I and So it stopped raining in Fife, stop it stopped raining here first and then in Fife. I, I found it strange to go along the wee bridge but along here it's like two different speeds depending on the direction you're going in. It stopped raining in Scotland. Apparently so. Certainly, is at this section of Scotland where I am. We'll give you a rough idea of where I am in this section. So, there's the Weaver Lake, the Coddy, so Port Bell was probably so, somewhere about here. It's almost in a straight line. And we're almost in a straight line. We're so, roughly about there somewhere. <coughs> I guess build the speed up, David. Raining here for four days straight. How can it rain in Australia? It doesn't rain in Australia. 
Alright, if you the further south you do Yeah, it does it does rain in Scotland, funnily enough. Yeah, I was playing the game, I was a uh, I thought I'll just do to Glen Rothes. I've decided I'll, I'll extend the the stream by running all the way along and going to Mark Inch to come back to Edinburgh. So, so we're coming across this wee bit here. It's the same. That, that's that's the motorway of the M9. That's where if you head off towards uh, Sunday Dunfermline, that's where I headed off the first time. So there's, there's the two crossings of the original Fourth Road Bridge and the Queen's Ferry crossing. Got the gateway, which is the airport. Fortunately, in the game, there doesn't seem to be many planes landing or taking off. It does kill the realism a wee bit. This is the fourth rail bridge. Big massive red structure. So that's the other crossing there, and there's the original bridge, and then in the background, we've got the Queen's Ferry crossing. That looks good, day eh? because it's easy to see the girders going past. <laughs> As if you're in the window of a train. This 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 bridge is absolutely huge. I'm looking forward to City Skylines to release for console in the spring. Oh, oh the Definitely streaming that. We'll get chat oh, City Oh C City Skylines too. Yeah. That'd be brilliant. Skylines too would be absolutely fantastic. I like, I've got City Skylines 1 Neon, I like playing that because I've got the, re, the remastered version for the PS5 That's a photo in there Yeah, Skylines 1 is awesome yeah, I've got the re remastered, but... How many people are going to be taking photographs going across this bridge? <laughs> yeah, hopefully when the Skylines 2 comes out, because they've been improving the frame rates and stuff. On it. Yeah, so this is South Queen's Ferry down there. And usually there's a couple of boats sitting here to take tourists on little trips. Can you see a seal maneuver? Opposite side is where the deep sea world is. And I think that it will appear when you get all the collectibles. I think that's the, the wee. Uh, Bonus for getting all the collectibles in Deep Sea World appears. We've got to get to get away. You can speed up now, David. We're off the bridge. A whole lot of flooring required to get to get away. Actually, not. There's plenty of time for the gateway. 1304. just a few this to think on this. I'm just gonna do it down to two. I'm just taking the scenery. You don't have to pour it much at all. Post here. 
I was just looking at the time then. This way I'm going to get a red light or something. The gateway. You see this bit here joins up to the Glasgow line to Queen Street. So I thought that the other... I cannot wait to travel and visit the UK. Scotland is on my bucket list. If I hurry up and get my dual citizenship, I would love to lie there. One only thing about one thing we like about Scotland at the moment with Australia is playing them at rugby. Seem to be doing quite well against them lately. Most people are. <laughs> uh, the, the, I don't know what's happened to the Australian rugby team. I really don't know. Something odd going on. It's almost like everybody likes to play them at the moment, they're not doing very well. I think there's internal issues somewhere. Let's see. I come down that road there, along that way, to go, go to work quite often. I can't see if I can see a silver car, that could be me, and that's white maybe. I'll go that way to get to work because nice yeah when I come back from work it's usually a slightly different way but quite often it's that way there's one of the guys I go to work with at the same time he lives um, this side of Edinburgh I live with the other side of Edinburgh so I tend to pick him up and we either take my car or take his car. So, we've got plenty of time to get in the gate with him. Silly, silly times. Even times, we had time to stop at the other, uh, we could have sat in the buddy, the railway and... See, unfortunately we can't sit here and outside the airport and see if there's any planes landing. See that's it, the, the tower, that's the control tower for Edinburgh Airport. Because this bit here was turnhouse, this, this old area is here, it's turnhouse. This is the, you should be an RAF, RAF base. That's what, that's what turnhouse was originally. We'll both go along a bit and we'll see the second runway. People don't realise that Edinburgh does have two runways. I have a, a big runway, but they also got a wee, we do have a wee runway. Turnhouse. It's still called Turnhouse. It has another rail. It does have it, and I wasn't me going up in there, because this is where the rate for Edinburgh comes in, if it's coming by air, and then this section, there's not a lot depicted here, there's a lot more to it, what we're actually seeing on the game, but this side here is where all the, there's all the freight for Edinburgh. And you've got the second one we going up and down there. It's weird. <laughs> I'm just bimbling because I've got no nothing much else to do. I've got to be at the gateway in eight million years. The people will be probably rising away so slowly. I'm looking at the time I've got to get to the gateway. I can't go any slower. You do have the car park area here for the, the airport. He's bimbling along. But as I say, they just seem to have an awfully long time to get to the to get the gateways on just like barely moving. 
don't know why. I don't know why. It's like everywhere that shall be things look change because things like yet more houses and get built and stuff like that. Saying that, that this is where the old RAF turnhouse was. That's why Edinburgh is called turnhouse, the, the old RAF base was. Uh, you can scroll down the pin there. I haven't even had a red light or anything to warn me. So we come in here. Into the gateway. We'll have actually a wander around the gateway and see if we can find any of the collectibles. We've got plenty of time for doing that. See, see if see how far we can run around the gateway. Basically, the gateway is a a new station, and it is essentially for passengers from the airport because it means it. Unlock, unlock the doors, David. We want to go to the airport, basically. You can jump on a tram. It's the expensive one, the tram, to be honest. You don't have a, like, a special mm -hmm. like, price. Right, so we can go up the escalator. Let's go up the up escalator. Let's be lazy. Da, 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 da. They put the escalators in the, and lifts in the, this... Uh, DLC of the for the game. I know it gets expensive when you start buying them all, but to be honest, it's, it's quite a good wee chill game. And be lazy, but let's be lazy again. Yeah, that's if you go in and out, pick up a tram to go to the airport. How, how much area can I don't think we can get through there can we get through there? Oh, it's an invisible wall maneuver. Let's see if there's anything hiding down here that we don't know about. There's always there's collectibles in the game. So you you get so many collect all the collectibles and it gives you a and it's sort of stuff to view and that, I think. I think it's meant to be Deep Sea World, I think is what the extra one is. But I haven't seen any. Hurled myself off. Mm. Edinburgh gave me. Wait, there's, there's Mr. Seal. Best way to do the collectibles is just do free roam and uh, go around and put until you act because you may See bump it. Yeah, it's actually a thing about on the forest about there are ships that take you uh, in the forest and quite often they'll say some like you spot seals. Little spotting. I don't seem to see any route maps or posters. It must be somewhere. Not the end of the world. Let's dive back in the train anyway before we. There's probably more than one seal. I've probably missed one somewhere. There was a planter, Dave. Missed that. Planter on the other side. Yeah, got it. Yeah, done it. There's probably other stuff I've missed, but we'll try. We'll try and get in there in time. We'll try and get in in the time. That's, that's what we need to do. It's a bit, bit more. 
realistic if we get in time. Close the doors and we'll wait for our queue to go. So we should next up I think is a guy will tell us in a minute. Here that could be a market. Yeah, a market. I'm not stopping at the guile. About six and a half minutes to get there. We don't have to go too fast. Yeah, that's Glasgow Road. It's right here. Because that that that's obviously the big roundabout and everything there. Yeah, kind of there. Teach to. Okay, then we're up, aren't we? So South, South Gail, that's the Gail uh, shopping centre. It's like a lot of shopping centres these days, everywhere you go there's some, 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 some units closed. Okay. So why is that? Sure. Sure. Carry on. We're going through the, the guy over, not even ha having to stop. As I say, that we could start from hell over there. That's where the Edinburgh Zoo is. Yeah. So we're going through this station, we're not having to stop at it. That's the South, South Gale station. We will eventually, quite shortly, come on to the main line for Edinburgh to Glasgow and the West Coast. Because that's kind of what it does, it goes out that way. I will join in a minute. Here on the map. We're going on this place, this is Edinburgh, Glasgow, and West Coast Line. So, joins up there. We're doing okay. As I say, I don't, I don't have to go much faster than 60 miles an hour to get there in time. It's kind of weird, so I'll show it. You play a game and you show people and point to them and go, This is this, this is that. Yeah, that's that's, that's where Edinburgh is. And you get the holiday in on the hill there next to the zoo. And the sock fin. Hit any hills in the distance to these super paint lens. You should see Arthur see it should get bigger as we come closer though. Will we see a tram? That's the question. That's the tram line. Will we see a tram maneuvering itself? I'm just gonna coast it because we've got plenty of time. Is very cool. I don't talk much on my streams unless I'm swearing away. <laughs> yeah, I, I just... I'm just waffling away. That used to be... It was these pennies. That used to be Jenner's. It was a depository. That's what the Jenner's used to be. The Jenner's doesn't exist anymore. The building's still there. It's not... Where is this? So there's, this is the Edinburgh Rugby, and it's Murrayfield for the Scotland Rugby. Edinburgh tend to use this one if we're playing Glasgow, because we get that many bodies in there. I think it was 38,000 last year. Right, let's do my mission, see, can we, can we see, quest was to see Tyne Castle, or we put Tyne Castle in. Pine Castle should be over that side. I 
didn't see it. Uh, it was just probably covered by all the buildings. Uh, this is the, the yards for the trains at Haymarket, but there's very few trains for some bizarre reason in it. Yeah, I just watch other people streaming and that and just try and pick up. I just waffle away. Whether somebody's there or not. <laughs> I know you waffle as well, especially when there's some there. Sparey words. As I say, I'm going to get some tea, uh, Neon, and I'm probably going to dive on it, Gran Turismo, because I know my uh, friend Arnold. You'll probably see Arnold's name in a few other people's streams. Uh, I don't know if he's coming to yours yet. Hey, yep. He so said, plenty of time. No. So this is this is it, basically Edinburgh second station. Yeah, I've seen Arnold before. Has dropped into mine a few times. Yeah. Oh, it's starting to rain again. Open the door. I have to open the. See, I find it strange from this angle, right? You don't see a big massive hill. They don't let you go high enough to look at a big massive hill that's somewhere over there. Just probably you know, let the camera go high enough to see it. Yeah, Arnold likes to come in. He likes to watch me do Gran Turismo because he knows I'm quite likely to get upset and swear. Especially when somebody punts me. Just as I get back into Edinburgh, it's that's. Oh, I've got bloody. How have I got half an hour to get to Edinburgh Waverley? It's one point. I could walk faster. I uh, will just. We'll just go, keep going unless we get a red light. I'm going to be make a cup of tea for 40 minutes. Hello. <laughs> Alright, 38 minutes or something like that to, get, to go uh, 1.2 miles. I think I can walk faster. We'll just bimble, we'll bimble along a wee bit. We'll go nor try and go normal sort of speed. We'll get up to 20 at least. As long as it's, there's no red light, we'll be okay. I just don't know why it's come up with this sort of time. I was like, Jesus. Um, you could definitely walk faster, low. Exactly. Even a, an old fairly like me. The problem is though, Neon, there might be too many pubs between Waverley and the Haymarket. So I might, might still miss my train. But at least the red light looks, looks like it's after Waverley rather than before it. So we won't have to wait. Oh no. <laughs> Just do a, a Rose Street crawl. Got a wee pub crawl across the, along the road street. That, that, that was one of the. That's used to be a, a challenge, and uh, people used to do. Probably still do it. I don't know if there's as many pubs as there used to be, but there is quite a few along road street. Do a pub, pub crawl along Rose Street and basically have a drink in each of them. 
Oh, the golden mile, let's go. Royal mile, not golden mile. Royal mile. Everybody says that, the golden mile. The Roy Royal, Royal mile, mile starts at the top of the castle up there. See, I thought I would make, make it in by one, but we didn't hear it go bang. But I'm going to do that, I'm going to actually go come out and do a sort of free roam and start at like set the time time about one o'clock I'm going to see if it has a one o'clock gun in this as well they have it in the Edinburgh Glasgow one so there's a the gallery, it's just Princess Street um, yeah. oh sorry, Golden Mile is from the World's End movie yeah, a lot of people say that you, 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 the tourists would come into Edinburgh and about the gold, they go on about the Golden Mile, and it's, it's usually somewhere else. It's the Royal Mile, which is slightly longer than most. So, yeah, Edinburgh isn't looking very sunny anymore. All oh, this is an omen that it's going to mean chuck it down the rain again. As I say, the old uh, manoeuvre of Scotland saying it's pishing out doing. <laughs> How was the weather out there? Yeah, it's pishing out doing. <laughs> so, let's come back in the way and we'll call it quits on this stream not long after this. We'll have a, I just want to see if the gun has been put in this one as well but at least in this uh, version of the station um, it has the it probably asked me a lot, a lot of the doors I'll do that just in case it just in case it asked ask me to lock the doors. Yep. Yeah. <laughs> I press the button. Yay, Planum. As I say, it says it'll say a mile there later on it. <laughs> During it, 13.51, I think there's something wrong with their uh, timings there. I would maybe be more 13.15 rather than 13.51. I think the one and the fives are all the way around. I'm assuming on that one. Right, well, we'll have a, let's have a wee look. Let's set the time on free room on it. And let's see if one o'clock gun goes off. I just want to check because I know it does it on the uh, Edinburgh Glasgow line. That was one of the little. If it, if it pick a route. I'm in there. Timetable, just going foot. I enjoy just, uh, watching these chill games. Yeah, everybody does. Right, let's get it to 12.55. So we, we'll go out on the Waverley Bridge and see if we can hear it go bang. See if it does anything. I like the chill games. You need them. That's why I like, like you say, you're going about city skylines. Um, I want, to, hopefully city skylines comes out, when it comes out, and jump on and play that. I like the, the original city skylines. And just hopefully when they actually do it, it's all working and all good. See, what they don't have on the Edinburgh Glasgow one is this. 
for some bizarre reason. That's the usual state of the escalators, by the way, on the Waverly Steps. Up to Princess Street. So that's the Waverly Mall. Go in there and get some tea. Uh, usually not working. <laughs> Stand, I stand. don't there will be any swearing in city skylines to stream low. Oh, are you sure? Why have I got no money left? Jesus! Ah! I spent it all! But I make no <laughs> promises in my... Ah. No point in making promises about making the... See, this is... This is... This is happens occasionally in Edinburgh. It's nice and sunny. Like this. What isn't unusual is the bagpiper. I wish there was. Is there no a section maybe on this game where you can find the bagpiper and shoot him? Tell him to shoot him. Let's see if it, the one o'clock gun goes off. Yeah, if you want bus tickets, you go down here. This is the loading tra travel shop down here in this corner of the, the road. That's Mark. That's Market Street. Now that's Coburn Street, right? You don't say Cockburn, that's how it's spelled. But you say Coburn Street, so if you ever come to Edinburgh, you say, I want Coburn Street, not Cockburn Street. Because the locals would giggle. If you, if you, you get my meaning on that one. So I, do, I, I don't know where he is, but apparently when you got this, so there's a wee bad piper up here anyway quite often. But we need to shoot them sometimes, especially when they're out of tune. You can get bus tickets for there for the buses, information and stuff. There is something in the gardens. There's somebody wondering about maybe not warm enough for them. Seriously, you get a nice day in the Princess Street Gardens, it's full of people. It's got a monument. It's a water scot. I can't quite see. You won't see them because they're between the trees, the statues there. They're nearly there. So that, let's see, oh, this is Princess Street, all the way along there. Now, but tomorrow the clock looks a bit weird, because for some reason the, the clock is a bit off-centred. <laughs> I don't know what they've done there. I don't know what Love they've done. Love that architecture. We don't have stuff like that in Oz. And uh, that's Weather Springs, it's still Weather Forks here. That's the North Bridge. Yeah. Which is, I say, I suppose the view is limited from here, but behind there is a big massive hill with Arthur Street. You can see almost like a wee silhouette where the hill starts there. Let's see if, let's see if the, the, the one o'clock gun goes off. That was the old bank head office. One, one's, you've got the Royal Bank and the Bank of Scotland. It's a whole day, old office. I think it, you've got the museum still there, and apparently you can go in and see a million pounds. So, like a wee suitcase with a million pounds in it. Let's see if it goes off. Let's see if it goes off. See if we get Yay Do we should get a nice wee cloud of smoke, that's where it comes from the battery up there. See, I think they should introduce a wee cloud of smoke when it fires its gun. The problem is you see you can't see from here. So I'll have coal in it. Oh there you can actually see it, right? I ain't one the top of that column there. Now some corn. 
There's a little ball that falls down exactly the same time as that gun goes off. And he, obviously it's not been drawn in. And there's a cross with a big black ball, goes up, and drops at one o'clock. So the ship's at sea. There's the gun's going off again. And uh, ships at sea can set their time, so calm. I was back in the, in the old days. You're sitting at the fourth of, first or fourth. You see the ball drop, you look, click, it's one o'clock. Because I can't hear the gun from here or the noise of the bagpiper. <laughs> right, guys, that was a real long stream today. I had a bit of issues with the. Uh, coming into stations, that's four hours of stream so I say the first half, first wee bit is a journey from Edinburgh to Glasgow uh, Glasgow to Edinburgh there's a bit, it's a hiccup so the first 10 minutes or so, 15 minutes ignore that did not happen, I did not go past Croy station no, I didn't. And then we done. Thanks for the stream, David. You're welcome, Neon. And then we went from Edinburgh up to Bors Glen Glenwell office. And we did not go flying past <laughs> Edinburgh. Uh, okay, we did. We had to restart that one again as well. And we ran all the way up to Mark and we didn't have any issues coming back. Thanks for coming in, guys. Thanks, Neon. Thanks, uh, to Mar Mark or Matt came in earlier on. And I think the first time person I've seen him in, his, uh, in the stream. It was great when people come in. It was good fun. So I'm going to get some tea and I'll determine whether I'm going to jump on Gran Turismo or not. It was all good fun. Bye for now. And it's a bye-bye from a sunny Edinburgh. <laughs> <Do you see me? laughs> you take care as well, Neon. Bye for now. <laughs>